Oh. Important things happening. Crazy drawings. Ghost child. Can I look at these drawings at all? The floors and walls are covered with graffiti. Bunch of eyes. That one kind of looks like butterfly eyes. Floor and walls covered. I want I want the the onk. Kind of seems more like a wooden house area. Is that? I think that's the uh, room I want to go to. Do I need to? Aerotron. So this is just a straightforward hallway. This is different. I think it'll still say nowhere. Child room, actually. Okay. There should be something I can interact with in here. This room's a little too suspicious. Like that drawing. Child's drawings are scattered on the floor. What did you draw? A girl's clothing hanging on the wall. Six, maybe seven. Must be a kid about that age. That outfit looks familiar. None of this stuff is of any use. So, I think if, like, based off these butterflies here, I think that's basically what the, like, butterfly and caterpillar kind of represent. As far as that boss fight goes, it's locked. Thou possess them to guard thy spirit, evoke five rites, unvile. Unveil thy fate. We have... Three? Three. We still need some way to... Deal with that uh, electric wiring on the second floor. Let's see what's in here. This is the generator. I think this might be what we needed to do. Do you want to press the switch? Yeah, turn it off. Easy. I also think I actually do have the solution to that. This puzzle. After I looked at my uh, inventory. I believe what we have to do is use the Ring of Contract. Because that can be used to chain the thing back up. Chain is fixed with the ring. And now we can take the dagger. Can't tentacle me now, sucker! Yeah, good luck. Get me out of here before it actually gets through that. That was a very flimsy chain. So we turned off the generator, which means we should be able to... I don't think we have to go to the second floor. Was this the one that was locked? Was it... Oops, Shadow Child. Please leave me alone. Might need to heal a little bit. I think they only come into rooms where you've uh, killed everything else that's in there. I think... I think this is the floor with the wiring. Yeah, there it is. So now we can grab it. Key for Eritron. And then we'll go save in the child's room again. 
So, I mean, if you haven't really pieced it together, I, I, it's not really too surprising, but I just want to clarify that, um, very much all of this seems to be related to a child, the school. I mean, we... I think this is the final save area, and this is, like, the final door. So, like, the child's room being the last zone. So, like... Details of the school, the fact that this child's room has, like, these butterflies. I don't know what the pterodactyls have to do with anything. Nothing unusual. Were there, like, books of dinosaurs in here? I think there's, like, a... Again, I, I feel like a lot of it's kind of dumb. Maybe this drawing is supposed to be, like, the pterodactyl. I think there was, like, maybe she was afraid of dogs or something, and that's why... Old fairy tale picture books of animals and plants on the shelf. That's why the dog enemies exist. Uh, old fairy tales is, uh, again, the lizard is just based off of the fairy tale about the lizard. So more than likely, she had read those fairy tales. Everything is going according to plan, sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. The promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Weird visions. So we saw this in the basement before. Uh, if you notice, Kaufman was in that scene. Pretty sure that was supposed to be Kaufman. Okay, I would like to get to over there. We got Disc of Ouroboros. That just looks like a coaster for your drinks. Alessa. So, more than likely... Who they were talking about that had like the soul... Half of their soul missing probably is who Lisa was supposed to be taking care of and was having a hell of a time because gross things were happening. Unnatural things. We have everything we need here. I don't have the map for this area. It'll be funny if there was actually a map. But it is pretty straightforward. It wasn't that difficult to run through. There was only like three hallways. Probably want to save once I'm uh, done with this so I don't have to put these in again. Scary noises are happening. I don't like the scary noises. One last save. Mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. 
It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Well, that doesn't sound, uh, scary at all. Locks jam. So Dahlia was trying to do some wacky stuff with her daughter. Wacky is really not the right word for it. Seemed like Alessa always had some kind of power and... Wasn't really up to using it, so Dollar was like, I'll figure it out myself with some nonsense ritual thing that's going to be bad for you. I've hey, Sybil's here. To realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped, this little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! What in the devil's name? Good job, Sybil. Glad I saved you. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Can you speak up? Dolly, I, I can barely hear you. Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God.
Who did that? Sybil? Oh no, it's your boy Kaufman still with his briefcase. Look at this action hero Kaufman throwing a bottle. So obviously if we didn't do that side mission, Kaufman would not be here right now. And that was the bottle we found in the motorcycle. He wouldn't have been able to grab that. And throw it at Angel Alessa. He's now not feeling so hot. I cannot hear you, Kaufman. Good thing subtitles exist. <laughs> okay, Dahlia's burning. Guess that's the end of her. Where'd Sybil go? Alright, boss fight. So, uh, there is no way to attack this boss if you do not have gun, like, ammunition. Like, okay, I got zapped a little bit. At all. Uh, so if you end up getting to this point, and you have no bullets whatsoever, the boss will eventually just kill itself. Also, do you enjoy this song? It's called My Heaven, I believe. Which is pretty awesome. And we just have to watch out for that electricity. Try our best to dodge it. Gonna keep shooting. Ah! <laughs> I don't know how to dodge that appropriately. We can use, uh... Some ampule, though. Pretty sure I'm doing damage. Ah, okay. You're also doing damage to me. It kind of hurts. Good thing I kept all that health around. I feel like the... Hunting rifle's not doing great. And I ended up dying still. Okay, so just standing there is not a good idea. Game over. Might have been easier to not uh, have ammo. I, I thought the hunting rifle would be strong enough to just completely mess him up, but electricity's hard. So, the Alessa we've seen... That just seems like, you know, a normal girl for the most part is Cheryl. Uh, she, since she was found at the uh, side of the highway, right? Basically, Alessa split in two and that was the other spirit that they didn't have that they needed. 
uh, the body that we saw in the wheelchair itself is the real Alessa, again, in the real pain. How do I dodge? This just, like, happens and I can't do anything about it. I have plenty of health, I just need to keep myself alive with the... This grating doesn't seem helpful. I thought maybe strafing would be neat, but it didn't seem that neat. Well, that seems like a good time to start running. Can reload like that, use that a little bit. So, um, I guess what they did spell-wise, obviously, to Alyssa's been living a uh, everlasting nightmare, which seeped into the real world, which is what we are seeing, which is kind of why the monsters themselves somewhat represent things related to Alyssa. I, I'm just gonna tank these hits because it's nothing else seems to be working. I guess spinning around works. Take that, demon. Alright, easy fight. I don't know how I didn't actually kill it the first time. I thought I did shoot it a lot, but maybe I missed. If you don't uh, do Kaufman's side mission, you will just fight that kind of angelic Alessa. It'll be the same fight. But it up. Uh, she'll look like this. And she split herself again and gave us new baby. A new Cheryl. Just for me. And she says, get out of here. The whole hellscape is blowing up. You don't have enough time. Oh, hey, Sybil's here. I guess she'll also leave. Hey, Kaufman can leave too? Everyone gets to leave. We're having a good time here. Lisa gets to leave? I don't think Kaufman gets to leave. Seems like Lisa's not finished with him. That could be Lisa having a bit of a grudge with Kaufman since... He did kind of have her hooked on drugs. I would view it more as Alessa not little allowing Kaufman to leave because Kaufman was involved in what happened what caused Alessa to be in this state of ever-living hell. And then Alessa used her six psychic powers to stop the explosion long enough for us to get out of dodge. And in the game just ends, we're done. It's over. So that was the original Silent Hill, which I think is still pretty neat in its own right. 
Uh, I don't know if there is anything that indicates exactly what Kaufman would have gained by letting Dahlia do her thing. Uh, I, I feel like I miss notes, but I also might just be misremembering some events based on things like the movie or maybe retcons that might have happened like the third game. Um, I mentioned that the Sybil ending is kind of considered non-canon by most people. The only thing is that Sybil isn't really mentioned in the sequel to this game, Silent Hill 3, not Silent Hill 2. So you could argue that that means she's not, didn't survive, but I, I think it doesn't really matter. If she just isn't alive or not, she just isn't involved in Silent Hill 3. We also got some better, like, nice cutscenes, learning more details about, uh, how Harry got Cheryl. I believe if we looked at that, uh, if you remember when we looked at the booklet in the, for the, uh, the, uh, controls and stuff that mentioned that Harry is a writer protagonist. It mentioned that there was a fire in the building in a house seven years ago. That was basically what happened to Alessa. Uh, after that is when Alessa split into herself and Cheryl, which is why, you know, seven years ago, Cheryl seven makes sense. She was on the side of the road. Most likely they found her near Silent Hill and they took her in and took care of her. And, uh, I think they were implying that that spell that Dahlia was using that we saw when we went back into the, uh, hospital room that had Alessa's picture probably was what caused the nightmare world to spill over because they were causing her pain that maybe made Cheryl want to go to Silent Hill. Like, you could say maybe it caused them to return back. I, again, my details might be wrong here. And here's the good ending we get, where everyone's hanging out with the baby. If you didn't save Sybil, it would basically be the same thing just without her there. And then we get a little... I like this. This part's great. This is, this is like a blooper reel for the cutscenes. And you get like the credits of the characters over them. They're like, dang, that's so silly. I think that was it. The cutscene at the beginning, the the um, cutscenes that weren't in the game themselves itself. Excuse me, I cannot talk. Showed Kaufman with Lisa like that. Uh, that scary face. Like I said, I'm more familiar with Silent Hill One. Uh, this, like, Alessa that's older, with, like, the bandages around her, we never saw in the, uh, actual game. She also doesn't look like she's in that much pain from a fire. So maybe that's why she wasn't really used there. Oh god, she's so scary! Puck her up. It's like they're all actors, it's fun. Oh, he... He stumbled a little bit. What a silly guy. Look, he's having fun, though. Good old Harry Mason. So in a way, he got Cheryl back just as a baby again. We got good plus. Uh, everything you see in the background there are things we have unlocked for New Game Plus. Basically, gasoline to fill up the chainsaw and that drill. There is also a weird pendant that you can see there. And I think there is one more... I got 156 out of 204 items. There is one more item I believe you can unlock, and I think... Um, that, that, like, yellow coloration on some of the game results screen indicates that we did a good job with that. So, good plus is great. We picked up a lot of the items, which is good. Uh, 
if I fought more enemies, maybe we would have been able to get that up. I don't really know what the, like, ranking is for everything. But if we got three of those to have that, like, gold, we would have unlocked a samurai sword. Which I think is the best melee weapon in the game. But we, we did pretty good, I think. That pendant will allow you to get the secret ending for the game. I never understood really how to view the your like star ranking that's at the bottom there. I think it's used for most of the Silent Hill games, and I never get it. So I don't... I probably got a bad score overall. We'll save. Next game mode, hard. I don't know if there's any reason to do hard. Next, fear. So that's the like new game plus. You play that. I don't know. I think you have to go find the items to unlock. But yeah, I, I a bit rough around the edges, but it's, you know, the first game of the series on PlayStation 1. Uh, details here. The picture of Alessa is burnt. The first time we saw this scene, it was not Sybil. I believe it was actually Harry's wife when they found the baby, Alessa. I'm surprised that that actually changed into that. But it was a it was a different woman, so you would assume it's the wife when they found her on the side of the road. I think actually a lot of these cutscenes were what we saw. Uh, other endings, like I said, basically, Sybil just doesn't exist in the Kaufman ending. If you uh, save Sybil but don't do Kaufman stuff, I think it's just that you escape. But you know everything kind of goes to hell. If you don't do Kaufman's side mission and don't save Sybil, you get an ending where you, uh, it turns out Harry died in the car crash the whole time. So it basically just shows Harry in the car crash, which is interesting because he did kind of speculate that maybe none of this is real and I was just in a coma because of the car crash itself. But outside of that, the, that pendant that we unlocked for next fear mode, here's the cutscene too that shows that there was definitely a relationship with Lisa and Kaufman of some kind. Most likely she probably told Kaufman she didn't want to deal with Alessa. Kaufman didn't want her to like maybe leak that information out because he was involved. And maybe that's also why she was in the secret basement of the hospital. Uh, but anyways, that pendant we have that we can get now in next fear. If we use it in special spots, we can see a strange light up in the sky. And uh, once you've, I think, just used it in all of the spots, I don't know where they all are. I think it's like the, I don't know. I think it's like right outside of the hospital door, uh, maybe up on the butterfly boss fight roof. I, th I think maybe the school roof, actually. School roof in front of the hospital and... By the lighthouse or like on top of the lighthouse i think are spots you have to go to i don't know anywhere else but once you do that you get a bonus cutscene. well bonus cutscene, a super secret bonus ending that's pretty great what Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here, short, black hair?
Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Silent.